Why do elections matter? Do elections matter? In our book, uh, Killing No Murder, so this book is a, it's a reprint of a book written in the 16, late 1600s and was something that the founding fathers uh, would have read. And it was written uh, anonymously, as the, the title suggests, a little provocative title. Um, it, uh, it was against King Cromwell, which was a dictator. And, um, and explaining what would be the, what is the Christian duty in the situation when you are ruled by a tyrant. And so in that book, it lays out uh, some key principles. It says, by the laws of God and of nature, the care, defense, and support of the family lies upon every man whose it is. But several families uniting themselves together to make up one body of a commonwealth and being independent one of another without any natural superiority or obligation, nothing can introduce amongst them a disparity of rule and subjection, but some power that is over them, which power none can pretend to have but God and themselves. So this power to rule over them, there's only two people that can have that, themselves or God, okay? Kind of translating this 1600s English. Uh, Wherefore, uh, all power which is lawfully exercised over such a society of men, which from the end of its institution we call a commonwealth, must necessarily be derived either from the omnipotent um, appointment of God Almighty, who is supreme Lord of all and every part, or from the consent of the society itself, which is where elections come in. So there's only two legitimate sources where a ruler comes from, and that's from God or from the people choosing that ruler. Okay, so if it's not those two things, if the ruler is not appointed by God, nor chosen by the people, he is not a ruler, but an invader. 